Well, I got some new old ground in a very old town. Well, welcome to Finding America. It is really nice to see you here. Now, this past Friday, I finally got a permission that I've been after for quite some time. It's an area that covers half of a city block in a very old town. Well, granted, now it doesn't look like much, just a big grassy field sitting at a very busy intersection. But it once was the site of three homes that were originally built in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Well, I knew with this lot being situated right smack in the middle of town that it was probably going to be pretty trashy. But I got down to business with my Mind Lab Manicore and I kept to my mantra of digging it all. And I'm really glad I did because digging it all gave me some very cool surprises during this hunt. Well, I finally got a decent signal. I've been digging a lot of trash here. I uh, kind of expected it. It's half a city block in the middle of downtown, so I'm sure it was going to be trashy, but there used to be some nice old homes on this spot. So this is my first decent target, 55 and uh, on the VDI, and it's an old water spigot handle, so I would definitely take that, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a noisy spot here too. Well, I'm in what once was the, probably the backyards to these old turn-of-the-century houses. Uh, finally got my first old coin. And uh, it's going to be a 1941 Philadelphia uh, wheat penny. So I will definitely take that. And it looks like the weedies are coming out pretty nice in this dirt. So that's good. And hopefully the wind isn't bothering this clip either. I'm trying to shield it. But we've had some wicked storms the past few days. Well, this one's giving me a 32, and I pulled a square pull tab out of there. But I did get a pretty neat little eyeball find. I cleaned it off. That's an old label to a pair of Wrangler jeans. So that's pretty cool. Well, I'm just moving along, digging it all here. Uh, got a nice 24 to 25 signal, one direction. The other direction, pretty broken up. And uh, it showed me having conductive and ferrous targets in this hole on my screen. And that's exactly what it turned out to be. First thing I came across was this bent nail. And I was like, well, maybe that's it. But I checked and there was still something in the hole. And I got part two parts actually, a very old suspender buckle and it looks like this one's going to have something on it but I want to wait till I get home to work on it. It's pretty fragile right now so very cool but definitely early 1900s. Very happy to see that. Well, this next one was about six, seven inches down. Looks like I got an old key of some kind. Saw it pop out on the drop cloth when I threw the dirt up there. And grab the camera, see if it's an old one. It looks like an old one. Oh, yep, it's gonna be an old Yale. Probably a door key to the house that was once was here. So I will definitely take that and I'm gonna keep on going. Well, hopefully I'm blocking the wind here. I just dug up that old Yale key right there, and I got a 92-93 signal here. Kind of a large signal, but sounded great. Uh, 
Popped the plug, said it was still in a hole. I went behind it and pushed it out, and this is what's come out. I have no idea what it is. So I grabbed the can. Boy, it's heavy. What the heck is that? Wow, look at that. Sorry about the noise, guys. This is one busy area in town. But this looks, I don't know, it looks old and it looks interesting. So right up my alley. Let me get it sprayed off and brushed and we'll see what I found. Well, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty darn cool. It looks like it says Western Brass Manufacturing Works, Chicago, Illinois. Down at the bottom, I think it says Husk, H-U-S-K 502. It says support me at this end and they misspelled support. It's only got one P here, so. <laughs> but it's big and it's old and it's brass, so that's a neat piece. Definitely like finding that and give me something to research later. Well, I wasn't expecting something cool in the hole, but I ended up getting something. Uh, just got a nice 55 signal, solid, about four inches down, it said. Then I saw it was in the plug, and I'm like, ah, oh, it looks like a crumpled up can. I've been finding a lot of that, but as I pulled it out, I realized, not crumpled up can. I got a toy helicopter. How cool is that? <laughs> well, you don't find those every day. And it still has its propellers or whatever it's called. I'm sitting there searching for the word. Well, that is different. Definitely not a Hot Wheel, but uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. So I'll get that cleaned up later, give you a better look at it. But I, th I don't think I've found one like this ever. So very happy with that. Well, I think I might have something interesting on my drop cloth. I was getting a nice solid 17 to 18 on my VDI. And yeah, I dig the really low signals too. You'd be surprised. I know I dig a lot of trash when I do that, but every once in a while something interesting pops up. And it might be this time. I think I might have a button. I saw it pop up and I grabbed the camera, but there it is. And I was just looking at it and I'm thinking, I don't know what it, yeah, see that's an iron back button, and I bet it was, the iron was sunny side up, so let's see, boy, this has, it does seem to have a design on it, oh cool, this might be a workwear button, and it looks like it has a word in the center, uh, well unfortunately I only have two hands, so I'm going to clean this one off and I'll be right back. Well it's a little difficult to make out, I'm going to have to work on it when I get home but I think it says Union Special at the top and bottom and a Detroit in the center so that's very cool probably a, uh, a work jacket but I will definitely get it cleaned up a little bit more it's probably going to be from the 20s into the 30s so definitely one I haven't found before Well, this one kind of freaked me out. I got a nice high tone. Said it was in the plug. I'm like, okay. Uh, I started moving the dirt away. And then I saw this. And I thought, <laughs> I immediately thought gold ring. But then I was like, no, this was a high tone. So I'm not sure what it is. It was giving me a 77. And I'm just going to pull it out now. Yeah, it's probably, I don't know what that is got roots growing through it every which way oh it is a it is a ring though oh keeping my streak alive even with a even with a cheap little one here <laughs> third week in a row got a ring yeah that is definitely one that would fool you it's 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 very light too it's almost like a feather but hey I guess it's a ring and it definitely gave me a scare when I saw it there
Well, we have yet another mystery solved this week, thanks to all of you watching last week. You might recall that weird little piece that I found during last week's episode. Well, a viewer who goes by the name Diabolical was watching, and he was the very first one to let me know in the comments section what that weird piece actually was. They let me know that what I'd actually found was a glass neon tube support and they were originally used to mount the neon tube to an old neon sign. So a huge thank you goes out to Diabolical and everyone else who helped shine a little neon light on this piece and helped make last week's mystery find this week's mystery solved. Well, I think I might have some cool in the hole. Uh, give me a 70, low 70s number, sometimes high 60s. I dug down, said it was still in the hole, dug down a little further, about six, seven inches, and this popped out. And boy, oh boy, I might have something pretty good right there. Look at that. That, boy, I'm right in the area where I, I often find Civil War stuff, and boy, this thing just, I don't know all the hangers on a sword belt, but this one seems to be, look at the, look at the hook on there. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. Let me see if we can knock the dirt out of it. That is really cool. Yeah, I think I got a really good piece right there. I'm going to have to investigate a little bit more when I get home, but definitely old, definitely nice patina. Yeah. Well, that's a, that looks like it's going to be a killer piece. Well, this one's giving me a 6970, and uh, I figured it was going to be a weedy. And I popped a plug and it was down at the bottom of the hole about four inches down. And that's what I have, but boy, it's a little bit rough. I think it's a teens weedy, but uh, it's going to have to wait until I can get home and give it a clean. And even then, I'm not sure, but I'll take it. It's just uh, another good sign there's another old thing in the ground here. Well, I got another, mm, not sure about. <laughs> Give me a 33 to a 35 signal. And I got this piece of brass. It's pretty cool. Definitely old, but not sure what it is. But I always like to film these because there's nothing worse than getting home and you clean it off and it's like, whoa, this is really cool. And you didn't film it. So hopefully it'll be something cool. Well, it was getting a beautiful 87, 88 signal, nice and tight on the screen in my headphones. High hopes for it. Uh, it's not quite what I was hoping, but pretty darn cool. I will take this any day. Said so I was in the plug and I kept moving the dirt around and I got a toy car. So I will always take that, see what it is. It looks like a Hot Wheels. Very nice. It's a little hard to make out what exactly it is, but yeah, the, I don't know if that's a C8 Corvette or a C7. I don't know. I think it is. And then they did like a 63 split window effect on it. Very cool.
Well, I was getting a decent little high tone right here. And uh, so I dug deep and wide on this one. Uh, about six inches down, it was right at the bottom of this plug and I found a wheat penny. I was like, yay. But check this out. It's encased in concrete, it looks like. It looks like someone stuck a wheat penny face down in some concrete. Maybe a sidewalk or something. And uh, sidewalk's gone, the penny's still here. So pretty cool. I don't know if I want to break that concrete off or just leave it. I think it's kind of neat that way. And uh, I'd say it's probably 40s or 50s, judging by the color of the penny. So I don't know, that's pretty darn cool. I like that. Well, just going along here, got a 32 signal, hoping for something besides a pull tab. And I did get something besides a pull tab. Shotgun head stamp, but this one I like. I dug a few of these in the past. It's a US, it says US, and then this uh, particular round was called Defiance. And I have to say, there's nothing more patriotic than having a shotgun shell that says US Defiance. <laughs> I like it. Well, I might have something good in the hole here. It's big and it's round. And it was giving me a 50 to 53 signal. Uh, about five inches down, maybe six. Check it out. I don't know what it is. It could be Bazinga. I just saw the shape and grabbed the camera, just in case. Ooh. Well, hey, it's a button. Definitely has a shank on the back, so. Uh, at least it's not total Bazinga. What is that? Huh. I'm not really sure. Sorry guys. Major intersection and everyone's getting off work. I'll tell you what, let me get this cleaned off and see if I can get a better idea what this is. It might be a Victorian picture button. And that would be awesome. So, I'll be right back. Let me get this spray button. Oh wow. I was right, it is a Victorian picture button. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has a man, probably from Elizabethan times, with a sword and a staff, standing next to a tree. Is that not incredible? Wow. Yeah, I recently, well, about a year ago, I found a picture button with the dragon on it. And this one is awesome. I mean, this is just spectacular. Uh, this made my day right here. I am definitely thrilled with that. And there's the backside. Ah, oh, what a great piece. Well, that really was a very fun day of detecting for me. And believe it or not, I have even more to show you from this spot. And that'll be coming up in next week's episode. Now, stick around to the end of this video, because I have a link placed there to an awesome Finding America episode, full of great finds and even a stunning piece of gold. I really hope you enjoyed watching this one. And remember, it's history that makes a find a treasure. And I can't wait to see you back here next week on Finding America.